wasting your time trying to stir the nobility against me. We are at war. I hardly have to stir them at all. Your sister murdered Celine. Everyone saw it. You're a traitor by association. What do you hope to gain, Rabbit? You can't claim Celine's empty throne for yourself. Maybe not. But I can keep it from you. With everything I've found on Gaspard, I'm sure Briala can effectively rule the Empire. <laughs> I doubt anything in the world, let alone inside the palace, could put the rabbit in power. We know about your threats to the Council of Heralds. Politics, Inquisitor, is people issuing empty threats to one another. It means little. Didn't one of the Council's emissaries turn up dead? Perhaps those threats weren't empty after all. We have your Ferelden mercenaries standing by to testify that you were going to attempt a coup, tonight. The Council of Heralds would be most interested to hear that, don't you think, Your Grace? You've made your point. What are your demands? Don't worry, Your Majesty. You'll find you can endure them. If the two of you work together, the Empire can only benefit. Oh, yes. A future of cooperation is surely what you've arranged here, Inquisitor. I'm not about to forget your part in this. The Inquisition will have all the support I can raise. I promise. The Elves of Rolais have a future. For the first time in centuries. If only Celine, my people will find a way to repay you. I promise you. You don't need to repay me. I pay my debts, Inquisitor. But we're keeping our new Emperor waiting. Go give the nobility the good news. Lords and ladies of the court, it is done. This was not the end any of us would have chosen. But the civil war is over. We stand here as proof of the Empire's fortitude. Our enemies must learn that Ole shall not fall to treachery. We will never surrender our Empire. We shall teach them the finality of this truth with steel. With the Inquisition, we will drive the demons back into the Fade. The Maker himself could not protect them from the wrath of the Lion. Together, we will assure a future of peace and security, not just for Orlay, but all Thedas. Gather your soldiers, my friends. The Empire marches to war. Here, at last, I find our absent hero, hidden away despite the efforts of all Orle to find you. The elves raise glasses in your honor while the newly crowned emperor glowers. It is quite the spectacle. Everyone suddenly wants to talk to me. You, at least, I'm glad to see. <laughs> then I have happy news, as you shall be seeing a great deal more of me. By Imperial Decree, I have been named Liaison to the Inquisition. Gaspar wishes to offer any and all aid to the one who supported his ascent to the throne. So, here I am. Welcome to the Inquisition, Morrigan. A most gracious response. I shall meet you at Skyhold. Is everything all right? You look troubled.
I'm just worn out. Tonight has been very long. It was a tumultuous evening, but Orle is safe now. It was worth the struggle. Is there anything I can do? Um, can I get you anything? A drink, perhaps? I just need a moment. The matter is urgent, Lady Josephine. I am well aware of that, revered mother. We will need them to return to Valroyo as soon as possible. There are ceremonies, ordinations. Make us mercy. That's quite impossible at the moment. However, I will see to this matter as soon as possible. My Lord Inquisitor. Please, may I have a word with you? How may I assist you, revered mother? With the political turmoil put to rest, our minds turn to a single question. The next divine. We cannot answer it without the left and right hands of divine Justinia V. I have already told you, revered mother. Lady Leliana and Sikar Cassandra cannot be spared from their duties. But surely with the support of the Empire, the Inquisition will not be harmed by the loss of just two souls. Liliana and Cassandra would have to make that decision for themselves. And they certainly will, at a later date. The Inquisitor has only just returned and has important business to attend to. You must excuse us, revered mother. Don't let them detract from your victory at Alam Shiral. We've beaten his wardens and stopped his intrigues. Soon, Corypheus will have no place to hide. Colin is hoping to press our advantage. We'll plan our next attack when you're ready. Anything interesting? A letter regarding Felix, Alexius's son. He went to the Magisterium, stood on the Senate floor and told them of you. A glowing testimonial, I'm informed. No news on the reaction, but everyone back home is talking. Felix always was as good as his word. Was? He's dead. The Blight caught up with him. Are you all right? He was ill, and thus on borrowed time anyhow. That doesn't mean you can't regret his death. I know. Felix used to sneak me treats from the kitchens when I was working late in his father's study. Don't get into trouble on my behalf, I tell him. I like trouble, he'd say. Tavinta could use more mages like him. 
Those who put the good of others above themselves. With the two of you, Felix and I? What an odd question. No, I had no intention of abusing Alexius's hospitality by seducing his son. Not that I've been proper my whole life by any means. It wasn't like that. Even in illness, Felix was the best of us. With him around, you knew things could be better. You make it sound like he was a better person than you. What a mad thing to say. Few people are better than I. Very well, a better person, clearly, not nearly as handsome. Thankfully, Felix wasn't the only decent sort kicking around Thedas. Marvelous business, the Winter Palace. An empress dead, an emperor under your spell, and that elven harpy eating out of your hand, if she doesn't bite it off. All this dancing politics and murder ah, makes me a bit homesick. That's something you'd like to do more often, then. Watch as you twist an entire empire around your little finger. Yes, please. Of course, that leaves only to Winter, and it wouldn't work as well there. No? Why not? Our dances are so much more intense. If an evening lacks a murder, we sniff and call it a ball. I hope you tried the ham they were serving, by the way. It tasted of despair. It's fascinating. I should go. Here I thought we were just getting to the good part. <laughs> 